until Shiloh comes. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 10. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh comes, and to him shall be the obedience of the people. An amazing prophecy here from the mouth of Jacob as he's blessing his sons and he's uh, uh, proclaiming God's purpose and God's destiny for each one of his sons, which eventually became the 12 tribes of Israel. As Jacob begins to prophesy over Judah, he not only speaks about Judah uh, uh, and the blessing that God has for Judah, but he is announcing the arrival of the Messiah. He says, the scepter, the ru a ruler, or will not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from his feet, till Shiloh comes. Shiloh uh, is, of course, referring to uh, the place uh, where eventually the tabernacle, it was a city where eventually the tabernacle was set up. And uh, uh, Shiloh uh, actually means to whom it belongs, the one to whom it belongs. So he's really pointing that from the tribe of Judah, there will come someone, the one to whom it belongs. That means the scepter belongs to this one. The lawgiver, he is the lawgiver, he is the scepter. He's the one to whom authority and dominion and rulership belongs. And he says, this person will come from the tribe of Judah and to him, will be the obedience of the people. That means people will come and submit themselves to him. What a powerful prophecy that Jacob is foretelling the coming of Jesus Christ as the king, the one to whom the scepter, in whose hand will be the scepter, the one who comes as ruler, the one to whom this belongs, and people will come and obey him or submit themselves to him. And sure enough, we see in the New Testament that the Lord Jesus Christ was born from the tribe of Judah. The tribe of Judah was privileged to see uh, the, the birth of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the King of Kings. Now, we understand that in His, in his coming as Savior, He did not come uh, uh, with, with the pomp and uh, uh, the, the, the show of a king, but surely he today has established his rulership in the hearts and lives of many people. And unto him, the people have given their uh, obedience or submit them, so submitted themselves to him. And he rules and reigns in the hearts and lives of many people. And sure enough, one day he will return to literally rule and reign from Jerusalem, where people will bow down and worship Him. This lawgiver, this one to whom the scepter belongs, He is Jesus Christ, the one who came into this world 2,000 years ago, whom we honor and worship, who today is crowned with glory and honor as King of all kings and Lord of all lords. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we worship you. And we stand amazed at each of these prophecies that have been spoken hundreds of years before their actual fulfillment, pointing towards your coming, pointing towards you, the one to whom the scepter belongs, Shiloh. We worship you. We honor you. May your rule be established in our hearts and lives. May your kingdom be established. And we worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.